Brian Dorsey and Les Jones. Away we go. The opening possession to three and six Columbia Lions have won two in a row. With 12 to shoot, Patrick DePay inside had the mismatch against Chris Heron Jr. He's the leader in three-point shooting nationally, but it's mostly been as a shooting guard. He'll get different looks today at the point. Tab showing off his well-rounded game. He's hit a three and a floater. He's got some size in there with Hamilton in the game. Now Boston College can go to Reyes, and when Popovich comes in, there's a little bit more size. Chris Heron Jr. in his first career start. Days ago against Providence. Heron played some good minutes against the Friars, just growing into his role as a freshman. Here's Jake Killingsworth beneath the tin, sticking it through contact. Average 79 points per game. With 10 to shoot, Tabs penetrates. His shot's blocked to pay, caught it clean. Heron late in the shot clock scores again. Columbia's made its first couple of substitutions. Rodney Hunter and Maka Ellis have entered the game. This is Quinton Adlesh. Long two goes down. Stefan Mitchell rips the rebound. Ty Bowman pushing, finds a trailing Popovich, and he sticks it in. Well, same deal. You can't run the floor much better than that for Popovich. Start off the bench for Popovich over the last minute plus. Yeah, you're going to get the full length of the floor here. Watch as he runs it, finds that open seam. Eight to shoot for the Lions, who have four reserves in the game right now. With two to shoot, Hunter falls away. Offensive board, Maka Ellis. There's two for Maka Ellis. With plays all the way through, it is such a bonus for the Eagles to have. Kai Bowman jacks a three and scores for the first time today. With 10 to shoot, Popovich up high. He scored an early four. Tabs finds Popovich. Off the hesitation, he sticks it in again. The same page for a couple connections. And this is where you keep with the comparisons because with Robinson last year, it was his passing ability. Eagles really challenging the perimeter. A steal from Hamilton. He attacks Adlesh and scores two more. Well, BC almost got a steal from Chris Heron. That was nearly a win against Providence. It took a game-tying three-pointer in the final three seconds for the Friars to force overtime. Nowike soft off the window. Omen driving dish. Hamilton straight to the rack. Short. Grabs his own miss. Attacks Brumont again. He's got it. And the foul. And that's only the third foul in Boston College, but it's the second outside of the three-point arc. Brumont left alone. There's his second three. Now, 50-50 three-point shots that Columbia needs to stay in this game. They have not made. Popovich down low. He scores. That's eight for Nick Popovich. Cushioning for Providence. But he's kind of feeding off that roll coming off the bench. Adlesh on a second effort nails a three. Get 45% for three. Baker accelerates and scores over the top of the taller to pay. Vermont missed it at the rim. Jim Christian, big Jim Engels, the Columbia coach beside himself. Hamilton the other way. DC's match its largest lead up 11. Killingsworth wide open. That's an important shot for Columbia. Keeps them within arm's reach. See him Sunday against Fairfield. No Mike Smith for Columbia out indefinitely with a knee injury. To pay slips in off the screen. All trying to hit their stride going into the conference play next month. BC 6-2, Columbia 3-6, but winners of two straight. Here's Kai Bowman with the high rainbow shot, and he's the fourth eagle to score at least five. Great closeout defense by Winston Tapp. That's the next step for him. Jim Christian loves the offense. Bowman step back three. He caught it. A couple of times looks like BC had a chance to maybe stomp on Columbia and the Lions have countered pulling within six to pay from Stefanini Killingsworth pass didn't make it to Stefanini Stefanini steps in first clean look tonight and he buries it Lions trailed by as much as 12 in the first half they're within six Stefanini over Heron tough shot and he got it Stefanini backs it out Six to shoot. Finds to pay on the pick and roll. Layup's good. It's a two-point game. He tries to create positioning down low. Took you a while to, to figure that one out. It was not one of your better <laughs> To pay finds Brummett, and we're all tied up. Bills have not hit a field goal in more than six and a half minutes. 
Brumont over Heron. Columbia has its first lead since 2-1. Timeout, Boston College. We've seen that a lot. Columbia's done a great job forcing the Eagles to switch. Right away, Boston College ends the drought out of the timeout. Kai Bowman. Ten points for Bowman. BC and Columbia knotted up at 40. To pay. Juggles and scores. It's good coordination. Trying to work on Vermont. Has three inches and 20 pounds on Vermont. He takes advantage. Nick Popovich has scored 11 in his return to the lineup today. Or his shot altered by Mitchell. See that time a great job by Bowman to fight around the screen. Tabs all the way to the 10. BC is on a 6-2 run since the Jim Christian timeout. Bowman, big three. Yes, sir! As the point guard, he has not gotten anywhere near the number of looks he generally gets. Finds to pay free inside once again. Finals week here at Boston College, moving into finals week at Columbia in the midst of a five-game and 12-day stretch. Winston tabs to the bucket. Also held a two-point second-half lead. Adlesh over Bowman, 4-3. Time three-pointer, and the three-point shot, you see the ebb and flow of it in this game. A little bit cool early, hot in the middle. And Winston Tabs, speaking of hot, if you touch him right now, you can get a third-degree burn. Continue to flourish, especially this kind of year. So many great things along those lines here at BC. Quinton Adlesh makes it a one-score game. C by four. Second half's gone back and forth. Tabs, eight second half points for Winston Tabs, and he's yet to miss in half two. Winston Tabs, free in the corner, for three. In the game against Providence, just 10 for 32 combined. Today shooting well over 60% as a group. Inside and one, Nowike. Consistently game in, game out. He'll be on the top of the opposing scouting reports. To pay inside again, plus one. It's a career high 14 for To pay. Heron contested two. Stefan Mitchell's offensive board sets up Tabs. He's got it again. Stefanini into trouble. Tabs nearly had the steal. Adlash blows past Tabs and scores. 22 points in the paint for Columbia. Bowman pulls up and hits. You just can't guard that. Country, that experience level and playing in some of those games just helps you make the jump to this level. Heron slashes in. Popovich's stick backs there. Adlesh nearly at his 4-3 to pay on the board. And Brumont will recycle it. Gabe Stefanini cans the three-pointer. EC by six. Had to grind it out in the second half after leading by as much as 12 in the first half. Bowman, it's a big three, and he drills it. Kai Bowman has scored 20. He had a bunch of opportunities against Providence, didn't hit him. Bowman with a big time shot there. Stefanini off the mark. Brumont's follow is good. Columbia within seven. Stefanini's pass batted away. Comes to Killingsworth. Clean look. It's good. It's a six point BC lead. Adlesh, driving dish to pay, readjusts and scores. Tabs up six. Columbia doesn't want to foul Tabs. He sets up Popovich for two. BC by eight, looking assaulted away. Wins all time against teams currently in the ACC, but none in 50 years. Adlesh, cans it. That's Quentin Adlesh's fifth three today. Final second, Brumont, no, and that'll do it. A game effort from Columbia. They really battled in the second half, but Boston College survives and moves to 7-2.